I love when women say, where do you meet men? Because you can meet men anywhere and everywhere. I average anywhere from 61 to 215 men a day that I pick up just in my daily travels. You have to have a completely different mindset. I don't know where you work, what you do, what your routine is in the morning. If you do go to Starbucks, which was definitely Howard Schultz put Starbucks on this earth so people from online can have blind dates there, for sure. <laughs> you can meet a man at Starbucks, at the supermarket, at a Barnes & Noble cafe, on an airplane, at a Verizon wireless store, at Apple, but I will tell you, I've never picked up great guys at Apple. If you, I, I'll give you a card. If you go to my website and read my blogs, every one of them are true stories of where I've met different men. Everywhere. How do you engage well, them once you're not in the Apple you store? You smile and you say hello. You do the hello challenge. And let me just address something. You say you don't like going out alone. Men are intimidated, A, by pretty women, and they have a fear of going up to them and fear of rejection, like men are from Mars, women are from Venus. When a woman is alone, a man will approach. It's the Paul Revere method. He's going to save you. If you smile and say hello, let the man take it from there. If you have a good sense of humor, if you can pick up some great tongue-in-cheek lines, I like to say use a prop, something that a man is wearing, the color of his eyes, how he's dressed, what he's carrying. I'm telling you, read the blogs. They'll tell you everything. And read my tweets. I literally, from here walking home tonight, I'll probably hit 15 And I men. think I've read your book. You also... <laughs> I'm dead serious, and let me tell you, they have no idea that I'm married and they have no clue that I'm a matchmaker. And there are people that are looking to meet people. If you have a personality, and ex if you exude confidence, and trust me, it can be with a ponytail and no makeup on. It's all about what comes out of your mouth. You smile and say hello. Great that they opened a fairway on, on the Upper East Side, isn't it? Need somebody to help you pick out the cantaloupes? You had a suggestion that you should wear a conversation piece. Yes. Wear something that's going to make you stand out in a room. Like Joya's necklace. Thank you. It's from Bendel's. <laughs> if you have on an unbelievable necklace or a scarf or a pair of earrings or you're carrying a fun bag or something that they can zero in on and compliment you on, it's a conversation starter. I have to tell you, it's so easy. I mean, women look at me like I'm from another planet. It's so easy to pick up men. I have run down after a man on Madison Avenue who was six foot nine, and I saw him, and I was walking fast to try and catch up, and then he started walking faster because his legs were a lot longer than mine, and I literally was like speed walking. And then, whoops, and then I said, excuse me, six seven or six nine? And we started a conversation, and I said, are you a banker or a lawyer? On train platforms, greatest place in the world to meet guy when you, guys when you're going to work in the morning on the subway train. You know, most people have either their headphones in or, you know, they're walking down the street texting. It's really annoying now. But start a conversation. I met my husband at a gym. Greatest place in the world to meet people. You're working out. You have something in common. You're getting into good shape. And you're meeting somebody.